All right, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a haul. Yeah, my bad. Um, I have my Ipsy bag. I got some stuff that I ordered from BoxyCharm because I couldn't resist. Um, and something, some stuff that I picked up from Five, Five Below and um, Dollar Jandor. And of course, my, like I said, my Ipsy bag. So let's get started with um, these two palettes right here from LA Color. I love these. So this one is the eyeshadow palette and um, this one is in Sorlite. That's what it looks like. The formula on these are, are beautiful. I love, I like color has like go back and forth between the palettes and everything like some are good, some are bad. Um, so this way it looks like it's in, and these ain't like five bucks. This one you can get at Dollar General. I'm going to swatch a few shadows for you real quick. All right, I just swatched a few of them right there. So this way it looks like, of course, all my tan skin and everything looks not as great, but um, on the eyes it's just beautiful. I um, love that one. I, um, I was just like, okay, might as well grab one, see how it is. And I'm like, Wow, um, this is one of the best um, Ella Carroll has done in their palettes. Um, my kids are one around someplace. Next one is this guy right here. This one is in um, Jolt. It's like a blue, my kind of colors. Um, no, I don't have this one on my eyes. I have actually a different palette. Let me show you in a second. Um, let me get to it. I haven't took this part off. Let me swatch some shadows as well. Oh, Liz, I know I always swatch black. Why? Because then you can see how the if it black, it's like pretty, um, my opinion is that black is pretty good. And then you kind of can tell how the mats are. So this way it looks like. The palette, they blend really nicely. I always use my fingers to do the shimmers. So the mats are just beautiful. Um, I love, these things are really good. And they like five bucks. This one you can get at five below. And this one you can get at um, Dollar General. Okay, so now let's get into um, box charm. I did sign up for Boxy Charm. Um, this month's box was just like went. Um, the last one was pretty good, um, so I'm not gonna include that one. Okay, my friend is on his way towards um, his cousins or whatever. So let's start off with this palette right here. So this is the Ofa palette, um, free spill it palette. You get six eyeshadows, um, two blushes, a bronzer, um, and two highlights, and banana palette, and then of course um, the brown products. So this is what he looks like. I had this on my face today um, with the eyeshadows, of course. I have um, these two mostly on the eyes and then that one as well. Um, yes, there's more. Um, then, of course, the face products I do have on my eyes. I do have this one in one from Wayne and Gamey, um, so I didn't use this one. But uh, the way I drive, I didn't. The highlight I have is this one. So, of course, everybody knows what um, awful crap looks like, so let me swatch it real quick. Of course, everybody knows what way I drive, I drive is. It looks like, so I'm not going to swatch that. It's like, cool. So this is what it looks like. Um, on my tan skin, this is probably an NC42. Um, and I'm like, my face is an NC40. Oops. That's because the foundation is very light. Um, I'm using actually the ColourPop foundation um, in medium tan, which is, this is not medium tan. This is mostly of a medium. Uh, this is a little bit too light for my liking. Um, so I do have the blushes on. Um, I have like the lighter blush right here that did show up on my skin. Um, the highlight is what I have on my cheekbones and the bronzer did show up. I did use my Franken bronzer because it, if you are any deeper than NC40, um, that bronzer is not going to show up on you um, at all, which kind of sucks. Um, so it's not cared to, So this palette in general probably wouldn't be cared towards um, more people than my skin tone. The eyeshadows, um, in my opinion, are nice. They're not the most pigmented type of thing like I do have like the blue on here um and down there and I got the little blue down there um and I have like the matte in there because I want to try both of them it's nice um I do before the cheek products over the eyeshadows the eyeshadows are kind of just like take or leave it um but it's one of those things I have like a blush from stuff from what you gave me I have a few things from them so the only thing I haven't tried, for, uh, the reason my guy is like stuff I haven't tried, of course I have, I think I have, she gave me Rodea Drive, and um, this one is more of a cool tone on me, um, but you know, that's the thing, it looks kind of, in my opinion, kind of ashy. It is, um, it does work for my skin tone, but I'm more of like a warm orange undertone, if that can make sense. I really have a really warm mind tone, like clearly, look at my hoods, my hair. Um, everything pours warm, pours, I'm like, my body pours really warm. Okay, so this is what, and this is the other palette I got, is a Persona 2 palette. Um, I finally, this one, I literally got both of them for like 26 bucks plus shipping, I like score it. 
Okay, hang on, let me swatch. All right, here's some of the swatches of the palette. Um, the mattes are, of course, pigmented, anything like that, but of course, on my tan skin, you can't really see them. Um, and of course, you can't see them on my palm because I just placed self-tanner on um, last night. Yeah, I'm lazy and I don't wash my hands. Um, so that's what it looks like. I do have, of course, um, like, that's what I have on my eyes today. I have a little bit of the Ofa. The shimmers are um, really nice. I really do like them. The mattes, kind of disappointing actually because um, when looking at the palette, I thought this was going to be a light transition um, shade and it was more of a medium. I'm like, okay. Um, then I'm like, there's nothing, there's like, the, of course, the, um, the formula is pretty, but the um, what it looks like in the pan, like this looks like a light one. This looks like kind of like a medium-ish, and of course, a black. Um, but when I got my eyes, they always, the transition um, when I was trying to do it was more of like a medium shade instead of like a light, like a tan, like a, my, like my kind of transition. I was like, okay. Um, then of course I thought I was like, okay, deep down the V, I'm like, wait, that's a chocolate, that's a dark chocolate brown, not like a medium chocolate brown. I'm like, okay. So, but the matte, but they, um, they did perform pretty nicely. But of course, like I said, the mattes are not, what they, the mattes are darker when they appeared in the pan. So it's kind of disappointment, but the formula is really nice. Okay. So next let's get into, um, Makeup Revolution. I love this brand. This is what I have on my, um, arms, um, uh, my body tans. I do sell, I do, um, tan the tan booth. Um, yeah, I don't, not a good idea, but whatever. Um, but my arms don't like to tan. So I always use a self tanner for my arms. Hopefully that makes sense. So this is what I have on my, um, my arms. This is a deluxe tan mousse and ultra dark. This is more of the formula is gorgeous. It's one of the best ones I've tried. Uh, like it blends so seamlessly. I'm like, I usually have problems like a little bit of streakiness in here and there on my arms. This is just, it blends like right in. The formula is beautiful. Then the tone is more of an olive oil tone. So I'm kind of like, okay, which I can get away as long as it doesn't pull like a stinking cool on a tone. Then it makes me look gray, which nobody wants to make me see look like muddy. Um, the, the shade is not that dark. So this is maybe an NC42. So I was hoping for a little bit darker. Um, maybe NC42, um, which my body is more like, yeah, that's why I kind of go. Um, so there's that. Really do like it. Um, I was seeing like the swatches from the Makeup Revolution. I'm like, okay, the shades are not too between medium dark and ultra dark. Oh, don't look too different, but all depends when you get any body. Um, I wish they come out with like a darker version because us tan girls like to wants to. But it is gorgeous. Definitely. I know you can get it at, in the UK. You can get boots and I ordered it from their website on the US side. Really nice. I love it. Okay. Next is this guy right here. This is a makeup. Of course, it's all makeup revolution. This is Arctic Queen bronzer and dark. So this way it looks like I was like, shit. <laughs> but it blends out so nicely. That's what it kind of looks like on my hand. Um, it's with the swatches. It is a cool tone type of thing. Um, of course, on my tan. There you can kind of see it. It's very cool tone um, on me, which kind of sucks. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things I do actually like it. It's a nice contour, um, but it's not one of those things I want to do across the forehead. For the forehead, I did use my... Um, Contrast stick in Wet and Wild. I'm also going to swatch this one for you as well. This one is in Call Me Maple. This one is beautiful. Um, of course, if you are any deeper than me, you won't be able to use it. See, this is how it looks like on my skin. This is more of a warmer and a tone um, type of thing. This one is a little bit dark. It's more cool than, than that one, but it does blend out beautifully. If you're any deeper than NC4, this one doesn't really work when I'm darker than in my... Yeah, my darkest was an NC42. It's about almost, it doesn't almost blend in, but it's very natural looking. So if you are like an NC40, 42, um, grab this one. If you're any deeper, then grab the darker, the um, extremely dark one. I'm kind of glad I, I wasn't sure which one to grab. I'm glad I got the darkest, the dark one, because the other one would have been too light. 
Okay, so next, all these two concealers. Funny is I want to try the new foundation, and I guess actually they got this concealer. I did order this concealer, um, but I was looking at the foundation, and so somehow, yeah, got in my cart. So, okay, so this one, my shade is in um, C12.2. So let me swatch. I'm going to swatch it on my arm. This one is, um, of course, mostly my shade. Um... On me is basically my skin tone. Um, it might be just as, when I'm at my darkest, it would work more as a concealer, like more you can actually see it more. But um, when I'm at NC40, um, it's mostly in my con my C concealer shade. I mean my skin tone shade. Um, the formula is really nice. I do really like it. Um, I have this is a of course I've only been on my skin for maybe an hour. Um, this is what it looks like. I have like many on, <laughs> many on. Okay, next I did get the eye brightener and um, eliminate thing with vitamin C. This thing I don't know. This one is in, I believe, in probably in tan as well. I forget. Yeah, I think I got them in tan. So this is what it looks like. That's more tan in my opinion than that one. Um, this one is one of those things. It did help my lighten a little bit, but it sort of makes it more brightening type of thing but it's really nice i do like it um it's one of the things that i have to see how it plays with the other ones okay so that's all and all my brown pencil because i need to push it up in hi pudding so this is what the um this one is from the, the more luxury side of um went well this is what i have on my brows today of course with my anastasia kind of pomade type of thing um just to fill in loose sparks this is really nice. I really do like it. Um, it's a little on the pricey side. It's similar. It's closer to an Anastasia, is it? Um, but the formula on this one, um, Anastasia sometimes has issue of breaking. This one did not. Um, I did put, didn't put too much pressure on it because I wasn't sure how it was it going to be. But um, it was very nice. Okay. Now let's get into my Ipsy bag. Okay. So here's the bag. Cute. Okay, so I did get um, one of those. This is my second one of these um, in um, Fara, or is what it's called, I think. Um, I need a swatchy swatch. It is a pale nude on me. That's what it looks like. It's like a pale pinky nude on me. So, of course, if you're any um, lighter than me, if you're any darker than me, it's going to look more like concealer lips on me. On you, um, if, but if you're lighter than um, you look really nice um this one's it might be a hair bit it works for my skin tone but not anything lighter but it is very matte i do like it but it's not like whatever they send me a damn tweezers um it's nice uh, i got the moist sun sunscreen i did use it today um nice it only has spf 32 um then this one i didn't use is the bad habit um cleanser i love getting cleansers it's a freaking mint so this one's going to be in the um the green one thing then the, um the bb concealer as well um i've tried this one and i believe i got in tan in this one so let me swatch it this one as well for you this is what it looks like this one in my opinion like there's tan and there's that tan <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, that's light. I didn't expect it to be light, but I didn't expect it to be that light. So I did use um, this guy to lighten up the Makeup Revolution just to make it so it's nice and not as bad. Not as obvious. Um, so I hope you guys like this haul. My be for shopping. Um, and i talk to you guys later on my next one. Um, hopefully I can do my um, Pan That Palette. Got an exciting thing to show you. And see you guys later on my next one. Bye, guys. Yes, I got yeah, great orange hands, great. nice hands, right? Um, bye, guys.